Yeah, right, so we've got soup on the menu. So we've got parsnip soup, makes fantastic soup. These parsnips, root vegetable, um, readily available at the moment. Nice and sweet and a great flavour. We can use bacon or we've got these smoked bacon hocks as well. We used those last week in the show. So it's another uh, uh, recipe for these. These are beautiful. Uh, we're going to do some crusty croutons and we've got some chilli in there. We're going to finish it with some cream and some stock. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. Mark, you are making soup, which does sound, you know, <laughs> kind of uh, soup. But it's your soup, so I'm really excited. What are we doing? Right, we're going to start the soup first. Yeah. All right, so just get a nice big pot, a little yep. bit of olive oil in there, and then we're going to start sweating some uh, onions down. Nice work. I noticed there's some um, smoked bacon hock. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so you can use just some bacon if you want. You know, you don't have to have it smoked. Smoked obviously gives you a better flavour, but if you use the bacon hocks, it's yeah. just even better. Nice you know? work, nice and cheap too. Yeah, we like the bacon hocks there. Right, we so do. just sort of roughly um, dice an onion up, sweat and then down. we're just going to sweat it down, yeah, get the flavour out of there. Okay, all in the same pot. What, yep. what else are we going to add to it? A little bit of uh, salt and pepper. Yep. As that's cooking down. And yeah. then we want to put some parsnips in there. So I've got some parsnips, so I just peeled them. Yep. Um, so, good way to do parsnips. Sort of just cut them cut them in half if they're really long. Um, or just cut it in half, or cut it off where there's uh, a big chunk. Yes. So, the little, uh, or the stem of it, that's fine. You can put all that in. Okay. But then, um, so we'll just put them straight in. But the reason why you do these, especially if they're big, you want to just quarter them because you've got this uh, core here. Yes. So there's no a good. really, really woody cu uh, uh, core. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I mean, you, you can if you want. If you're lazy, you can just chop it up and put it in. But it is quite... Um, <laughs> It's quite good to take it out, and especially, okay. you know, if you're going to roast them, you know, if you do it for another recipe and you roast them, definitely take that core out. I it can, know that. Can, get, can get really woody. It's maybe not too bad on sort of small ones like that, but if the parsnips are bigger, definitely sort of have to do that. Okay, sweet. Well, there's a tip. I didn't know. Nice work. So the parsnips going in, the onions are going in, we're sweating all this down. Yeah. Okay, nice. So, yeah. I'm just going to take that out. I don't know, because, you know, carrots, uh, that's the best bit of a carrot sometimes. Well, yeah, I mean, there's, yeah, there's heaps of, heaps of flavour in the uh, core of the carrots, so that's, I mean, that's, that's fine. But the texture but, of the but they just, parsnip? Yeah, they do go really woody. Okay, nice. Good work. All right, so that goes in, so there's a, a spoon for you, so Thank just you. Sort of keep it going. You don't want much colour on there, yep. just sweating. Uh, bay leaf goes in now, nice. good flavour. A uh, little bit of garlic, so just smash that. Take the... All the peel off. Oh, you do that, that so quick. That can go in. You know. Well, that's it. I mean, a soup yeah. should be fast, you know. You should be able to get everything in, put all your stocks in and cook it and just get all those flavours and then, you know, be able to walk away and let it cook for a little bit. We used to have a pot belly at home down Southland and uh, it was great for soups because you'd make the soup and you'd just leave it on top of the pot belly the whole time. Soup. All the time. About a pig, then. No. <laughs> you make a soup out of a pet. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, it's like a fireplace. Oh, okay. That you can cook on. It was so good. Well, that's it. Yeah, make it in the morning and just let it yeah. cook all day. Excellent. All right, so I've got a little bit of potato here. So I just peeled it. So I'm just slicing it very, very, very thin. Is that so it cooks evenly or...? Yeah, it cooks evenly and cooks quick as well. Okay, nice. Okay, so we got it. Obviously, just using a little bit of potato. We're going to use this as a thickener. We're not going to put any flour in here. Uh, be joy to the ears of some people around here. Well, I see, yes. <laughs> so it'll be good. So we're actually going to thicken the soup with a, a little bit of potato. Okay. Because we've just got the vegetables there. We are going to blend it so it will thicken slightly. We've got some chicken stock, um, but the potato will help just give you that nice sort of thicker texture. A little bit of chilli going in now. Loves this chilli. Yeah, leave the uh, seeds in. Leave the seeds in! Yeah, get it spicy. No! <laughs> okay, you can leave them in, because yeah. it's, 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 that's what it is, isn't it? A parsnip bacon chilli cream soup. Well, that's so it. If it says chilli on the title, it. you're going to expect like a little bit of heat. Nice. Right, so everything's in there now. Yep. So I've got some nice chicken stock. Yeah. Pop that in, cool. bring it up to the boil, turn it down, pop a lid on if you want, and just cook it till it's nice and tender. The slower, the longer, the better. Yep, that's it. So just, you know, keep cooking it. Yep. Once the vegetables are nice and soft and they're cooked, we're just going to blend it. So we're going to blend it without, we're going to cook this without any cream. We're going to blend it and then we're going to add the cream at the very last minute so it doesn't reduce down and get too thick and too rich and heavy. Okay, yeah, cool. So we're going to keep it quite light, uh, you know, quite nice and light. And then we're going to do some garnish for the soup now, yep. just to make it a bit more interesting and please you, Mike. Yeah, thank you. Good. <laughs> nice that you're pleased with me. <laughs> right. So in a pan, a little bit of olive oil, get it nice hot. Yep. And then, uh, you know, if you're using bacon for this, we can put the bacon in, get it nice and crispy. But we're using this uh, bacon hock. Yum. So nice pieces of meat there. And we're just going to cook this until it gets nice and crispy on all the sides. Oh, oh, now we're talking. And then we're just going to drop this in 
the soup on top so you've got this nice texture and different flavor to the soup. Okay, good. So it's always a good idea to leave them um, in nice big pieces like that. Yep. And a little bit of the fat around the edge, that's great because then that's gonna sort of melt into extra flavor yep. and get it nice and crispy as well. Okay, cool. Do you want me to finish this off? Yep, okay, yep. Cool. so you, you can look at this. Yep. Nice. Right, and then I'm just going to do some croutons. You know, so you can't have a soup without any croutons. So, nice bit of crusty bread, and just nice big, sort of centimetre squared, sort of dice shaped uh, croutons we're going to go for. So, nice hot pan, a little bit of salt, olive oil, get it nice and crispy. And you leave a little bit of space for the croutons, and we'll okay. do them in the. We can do them in the same pan. Oh good, that means I can eat some of this. <laughs> <laughs> And then as you as you cook in the bacon hock and the bacon, you know it's going to flavour the oil, and it's going to uh, and you're going to use the same plat, same pan and the same oil for the croutons. So they're going to get nice and crispy, and then they're going to taste like bacon as well. It's oh, going to be right. great. Yeah. Okay, cool. Mm -mm. Yum. So just nice and make a little bit of space. Yeah, if you were doing more, you could do this in separate batches, but just obviously keep that oil because it is going to flavour the bread. Is that brown enough? We want a bit more. Is yep, no, that's good. You can sort of, you can get it like that. If you get um, if you get that sort of nice caramelisation and brownness, yeah, on all the sides. I mean, that's great. Okay. You don't want to go too far because then you don't want to dry it out in the centre. Looking for that nice sort of crispy edge. So that's why we're doing it on sort of quite a nice sort of high heat. Uh, this is good. It's coming along quite nicely. That's and that extra and fat on the ham hocks is really going to help flavour the croutons. Oh, definitely, definitely. And that goes crispy, and it's just, that is the flavour. Mm -mm, yum. How long do croutons usually take to cook? Not long? Oh, not long. Not long. See, I mean, you're, all, you're just like toasting bread. Okay. You know, so once you've got a nice golden um, colour on all sides, and they're nice and crispy, take them out, drain them on a little bit of paper. Same with the ham hock. Keep that warm. Yep. And then, because this uh, soup's not going to be far away, probably about, you know, depends how long you cook it. Obviously, lower the better. Um, but if you do want it sort of fast, about 20 minutes, you know. Nice work, it okay. Take long. What are we going to do with the cream? We're going to do that later? Yeah, so the cream goes in when we blend it. Blend it, okay, yeah, cool. So it's nice and light. We're going to chop some herbs, pop it all together in a bowl. It's going to be fantastic. Brilliant. Right, Mark, um, this soup is smelling better and better. <laughs> How's it looking? It's beautiful. So everything's cooked. I've blended it. So I'm just going to serve it up now. So I've popped some in the bowl. So it's nice, thick, hearty, and that chilli does come through. It's beautiful. So little bit in there, and this crispy ham hock. Yeah. Place that in the top. Mm, yeah. Some of these croutons. Yes. When did you put the cream in, by the way? Oh, just before I blended it. Okay, nice. So it's just very last minute, and some chives, some parsley, and a little bit more black pepper on top. There you go. A nice hearty stew. Look at this that. cold, wintry weather we're oh, having. You are setting us up for winter, aren't you?